Why did Ripple just drop $25 million into the crypto political ring? If you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes when tech giants make big moves in the world of crypto? Well, let me tell you a tale about uh, Ripple, uh, a trailblazing payments company, and their recent unexpected generosity towards a crypto-focused political committee named Fairshake. Uh, and on a sunny day in late May, Whipple's charismatic CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, made an intriguing announcement via his trusted social media platform, X, once known as Twitter, with a simple yet impactful tweet. He introduced the world to Ripple's newest alliance. Excited to announce at Ripple's investment in Fairshake, a bipartisan pro-innovation super PAC dedicated to advancing policies that will benefit the entire crypto industry, Garlinghouse wrote. But just how much did Ripple invest in this fresh endeavor? A cool $25 million. Yes, you read that right. But why such a substantial contribution? Let's delve deeper this season in into the reasoning behind this game-changing decision. According to Garlinghouse, the crypto industry's continued progress and adoption hinge on the United States staying competitive among global leaders in crypto regulation. In essence, the U.S. needs to be step up its game or risk falling behind. And with the upcoming U.S. presidential election slated for November 5th, 2024, Fairshit aims to empower blockchain innovators to establish networks within more transparent and favorable regulatory environments. And Ripplis wants to play a pivotal role in shaping these future frameworks. However, not everyone shares the same enthusiasm for the crypto revolution. Some politicians remain skeptical or even hostile towards the burgeoning industry. Ripple's bold move serves as a powerful story with high dedicated to the reminders of those of existing change. For traveling them, as we continue to navigate the evolving landscape of crypto politics, it seems Ripple remains committed to supporting U.S.-centric policies that foster innovation while ensuring consumer protections. So, stay tuned for further developments in this thrilling saga. And now, for a little levity, here's a quick joke. Why don't cryptos go to parties? Because they prefer private keys over public ones. With that said, thanks for joining me on this journey through the fascinating world of crypto politics. Until next time.